a proposal to slash $1.8 million from Hawke Bay's tourism funding. Has the local industry worried it could ultimately cost the region hundreds of millions of dollars a year, potentially? The Hawke's Bay Regional Council wants to cut the organisation's funding by half over the next three years in order to spend more money on the environment and cleaning up waterways. But tourism operators say the plan will cost them and the region's economy dearly. Here's our Hawke's Bay reporter, Anusha Bradley. It's been a big weekend in the Hawke's Bay for the tourism industry with the Horse of the Year competition, a free concert at Napier Soundshell and the docking of the biggest ever cruise ship to New Zealand. And while the owner of cottages on St Andrews and Havelock North, Diane Ross, has been flat off her feet, the proposal to cut Hawke's Bay tourism's funding by $1.8 million over the next three years has her incensed. It would definitely have an impact. It would have an impact on all businesses. Hooks Bay is just absolutely thriving and, and growing rapidly. And, and now when everything's going well, well, let's just take all the money away from them. And, and I just don't understand the rationale. Tourism employs more than 6,000 people in Hawke's Bay and visitors spent $630 million last year, which is about 8% of the region's GDP. Hi. Hi, Neil. How are you? I'm very well, thank you. Neil Barber is the owner of the famous Art Deco Masonic Hotel in Napier and the chair of the Hawke's Bay Tourism Industry Association. Visitor spending is estimated to top $800 million over the next three years, but he says funding cuts could put that growth at risk. It most certainly is. No other region that is facing a decrease in funding, which seems quite inequitable. It won't fall off dramatically overnight, but it will with time. No investment in tourism funding and then a marked decline in visitor numbers and visitor spending. Speaking from Melbourne, the chair of the Hawke's Bay Regional Council, Rex Graham, says Tourism Hawke's Bay's funding was increased by $1.8 million two years ago to get it off the ground. He says it worked well and now it's time for the industry to stand on its own two feet. It was a very close vote whether they continue to get it or not. Um, but uh, in the end, the majority decided that um, we should move on and they should move on and they should commercialise this funding. Mr Graham says the money would be better spent elsewhere. Most of the councillors want to get back to their core competency of fixing rivers, lakes and streams and estuaries etc. And they didn't feel this was their core competency. Diane Ross, whose online petition calling for the current level of funding to be maintained, disagrees. We put in huge amounts of money but we can't do it on our own. We can't do television ads. We can't do national spreads in Viva magazine in New Zealand Herald. Um, we just don't have that budget. The Hawke's Bay Tourism Industry Association is holding a meeting for its members on Wednesday to discuss what it calls this funding crisis. In Napier for Checkpoint, Anusha Bradley.